In this video we're going to look at the process of electrolysis specifically for aluminium oxide. Some metals are so reactive that they can't be extracted using carbon because they're more reactive than carbon. Aluminium is one of those metals it's very difficult to separate from its ore. The ore is called bauxite. Um, it can however be separated through a different process of electrolysis. So the idea of electrolysis is that we can extract the aluminium from the ore, the useful aluminium, and get rid of this unwanted oxygen here. The chemical formula for bauxite, the ore of aluminium, is Al2O3. The ore is made out of positive aluminium ions. Um, the aluminium ions have got a charge of 3+, plus, and it's also made out of negative O2- minus ions. As a result of aluminium having a 3 plus charge, that means it needs to have three extra negative charges to be neutral. So we need to add three electrons to the aluminium for the aluminium to become neutral. Similarly, oxygen has a charge of negative 2. That means it's got two extra negative charges. It needs to get rid of those two negative charges to become neutral. So to help the aluminium get its three electrons and the oxygen to lose its two negative electrons we're going to use an electrolysis circuit so we have two electrodes these are these things here on the sides connected with a battery and what the battery is going to do is it's going to move electrons from one side of the circuit to the other side there are obviously going to be far more electrons than the two that I've got here so when I switch the battery on those electrons then start to move from one side of the circuit to the other, so electrons being pulled round. As that happens, one side of the circuit becomes positive, the side that's lost the electrons, and the side that's now gained extra electrons becomes negatively charged. Oxygen has two extra electrons that it wants to get rid of. Aluminium needs three electrons. Okay, this is has a negative charge, this has a positive charge because it's got three spaces. So what's going to happen is this negatively charged oxygen with extra electrons, because it's negative, will be attracted to the positive side of the circuit. There we go. When it gets to that side of the circuit, the two electrons will be removed from the oxygen and will then travel around the circuit to this side here. There we go. So again, we've got a now very large build-up of negative charge on this side of the circuit. Oxygen is now neutrally charged. That can leave the circuit as um, the gas oxygen. Because this side is negatively charged and aluminium is positively charged, aluminium is going to be attracted to this side. When it gets there, its three spaces for electrons will be th um, filled with three of those electrons. Aluminium is now just a normal atom of aluminium. It's no longer an ion. It can join together with other particles of aluminium and can be extracted. So we've then separated aluminium from oxygen successfully using electrolysis. So to sum up, on the positive side of your circuit, negative charge is removed. Your oxygen is going to be attracted to that side of the circuit. So my oxygen is going to come over here it'll have its negative charge removed. On the other hand, the aluminium will be attracted to the negative side of the circuit and have some negative charge, some electrons added. So on the positive half of the circuit you will see oxygen gas being given off. On this side of the circuit you will see aluminium forming. So the way that you'll be able to detect that is you'd see bubbles being given off here and around here you'd see molten aluminium, silvery metal forming. We're going to look at what happens at each of the two electrodes now. So at the negative electrode, your aluminium is going to be attracted. It's going to gain three electrons to become aluminium. If you're asked to write a formula for what happens at the negative electrode, you'd write just as above, Al3 plus gets three electrons added and becomes aluminium. We'll have a look at what happens at the positive electrode now. Slightly more complicated. Your negative oxygen is attracted to it. It's got two extra electrons, so it loses those minus two electrons to become just an atom of oxygen. 
but oxygen can't exist on its own so it joins onto another atom of oxygen to become O2 so your equation written in the paper would look like O2 minus loses two electrons to become oxygen then two oxygen atoms join together to become O2 they might show you a diagram of what this circuit looks in reality you have your positive electrode which are these electrodes dangling down into the mixture of molten aluminium oxide around these electrodes you're going to have forming oxygen gas so around these ones you have O2 gas and you'd see bubbles of gas being given off by these electrodes around the negative electrode this is where your aluminium forms aluminium is heavier than aluminium oxide and so the aluminium will form at the bottom and will sink down and can then be siphoned off at the side it's also really important that the aluminium oxide is molten so the question at the top says why does aluminium oxide need to be molten this is a diagram of what aluminium oxide looks like in the solid state we call this a lattice or an ionic lattice this means that the particles of oxygen the red ones and the particles of aluminium the sort of grey ones are held together really strongly by ionic bonds because they're held together so strongly there's no way that we can separate them out using electrolysis for that to happen the compound would need to become molten when it becomes molten these bonds are broken and the ions are free to move around to either side of the circuit so if it's a lattice an ionic all stuck together you can't do electrolysis but if it's molten and the ions are mobile they're able to move then you can complete electrolysis